What is going on ladies and gentlemen monkey flop here and today I wanted to talk about a different subject and uh, it, when I mention this I usually get nailed in the comment section below so please do not get your panties in a wad ladies and gentlemen today we are going to be talking about Xbox now you're probably thinking to yourself monkey flop he's just said you're talking about Xbox but you're on the PlayStation 4 home screen. That's right, I'm on the PlayStation 4 home screen because there is a lot of rumor and speculation going around the community that Xbox games are coming to the PlayStation 4 or whatever the next gen console would be, PlayStation 5, who knows? Okay, but that's what the story is and that's what everybody's speculating. And this actually comes from Microsoft themselves that are considering you know becoming possibly a third party developer which if you're a third party developer you don't exclusively develop games for one console which hence is the rumor of it possibly being on the playstation 4 or playstation 5 whatever the next installment of the console would be now there, because there's a lot of rumor and speculation, please take this with a grain of salt. Take it as you would anything else on the internet. But Microsoft's really not concerned about console sales. I mean, Sony and PlayStation 4 have killed it. They have nailed it. We're probably going to see an increase in sales for the holiday season for the Xbox One. But a lot of people are already playing on the PlayStation 4. If you watch some of your favorite content creators... Not just me, of course. <laughs> I'm flattered. No, I'm just kidding. But if you watch most of your con favorite content creators, they're either playing on PC or on PlayStation 4. Hardly anybody is playing on <laughs> on the Xbox One X. And uh, Microsoft sees that. And they're like, you know what? We're not really concerned about that. We're going to start developing more games. And uh, as well as they should be. The competition should be rough. It should be tough. I'm, I'm a PlayStation Sony guy at heart. And I love the fact that Sony and PlayStation is winning. They are finally winning. I was rooting for the PlayStation 3. But the 360 always got the attention. And I felt like that ugly stepchild you know <laughs> but finally playstation is where it's at today but that's not without competition competition is what makes or breaks companies it's what makes or breaks especially the entertainment business and you know especially gaming gaming is all about competition uh, whether you're looking at multiplayer games or just game sales in general can you imagine just for one second if it was just PlayStation and there was no Xbox at all? What competition will we have? Uh, sure, PC Master Race is fantastic. Not everybody can afford a gaming PC. Hell, I can barely afford to keep up with the one that I have right now with every single upgrade that you have to do to maintain and have a, a really good uh, PC. Um, Nintendo is more towards handhelds now and we all see that that they developed a console but people are using it more for the handheld aspect of it so what would sony and playstation be if it wasn't for xbox if it wasn't for the competition they probably wouldn't be striving and thriving to be the latest the greatest the best they probably wouldn't be striving as hard to you know print digital money that's pretty much what they're doing now but um like i said i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section below can you imagine okay there there's okay i'm like i said i'm a sony and playstation dude at heart playstation um was my favorite console um i had a sega genesis i had a super nintendo but the PlayStation was my favorite console and this it's what made me want to create a YouTube channel too so don't get me wrong but um, can you imagine just for a second maybe you know Microsoft decides to become a third-party developer you're on your PlayStation 4 PlayStation 5 whatever the hell they're gonna call it in the future you go into your games library and you're like do, do I want to play Wolfenstein 2? Do I want to play Destiny? Do I want to play Assassin's Creed? Or do I want to play the next Halo? Of course you don't see Halo on the screen because I'm on my PlayStation 4. But can you imagine, just for a second, in your games library, you had 
Halo or another I can't think of another uh, Xbox exclusive that like I'd be like oh my gosh I want to play it but <laughs> like I said I love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions in the comment section below wanted to kind of bring you guys a basic video today not nothing too serious but at the same time it's a serious topic it's a serious conversation so um and this this dude's pretty cool Is, isn't this little gargoyle like like gargoyle is he a gargoyle or is he a bat he's pretty cool in my opinion but what do you guys think um anyways about enough of the theme in the background what seriously though i'm getting distracted add oh my gosh what do you guys think about xbox uh or microsoft developing games for playstation or having xbox games on playstation I know in the past Sony has didn't has rejected uh, anything to do with Xbox uh, One game sharing, not game sharing, but you know playing multiplayer games together and things like that. Even though it would benefit the developers, um, Sony said no, 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 no to that. Even though we know it's a possibility, even though they're already doing it with vr games because uh let's face it vr is not taking off anytime soon so sony's kind of pushed pushed in a corner with that aspect but i love to see uh you know them pushed into a corner with the other aspect and you know just let playstation 4 and xbox one play together is that so much to ask for i mean it it isn't too hard um there was even a, a player that didn't even know he was playing with PlayStation 4 people until all of a sudden it happened. Somebody flipped the switch by accident, but enough of me rambling on. Let me know your honest opinions in the comment section below. If you would hit a like, that really helps me out. And uh, if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, bell notification. That way you guys know when I go live or post a new video like this one. Anyways, you guys are freaking awesome.